Well, today I'm just doing some patch-up work with painting. I'm getting the old paint off and fixing them. I did these steps three years ago, and every couple years I come back and just go over them just to make them look again. It's just patch them up, make them look good again. So there's two jobs I'm going to do. I'm going to show you how I do them. And back here at a set of steps I painted about three years ago. I told them you got to paint it every year, but for three years it held it up good. So I'm just going to repaint it again. And it held up a lot better than I thought actually. So then we're going to talk about what's the difference between painting it with paint and painting it with Portland. Now when I got to redo these steps, I just use a scraper. Rip it up, sit, make a project out of it. I'll scrape it up, and just like anything, if it's loose, it'll come up. If it ain't loose, it's going to stay there. Just get rid of all the loose stuff, just like a dentist. If it ain't loose, I'm not going to bother it. Simple as that. Only if it's loose. That's it. Then just get yourself a little wire brush. Wire it up. You see something that looks loose? Hit it again. All I'm doing is getting that old stuff off. If it's good, I'm not touching it. If it's good, leave it there. I just look for the bad stuff. That's all. When I get down in here, some of the paint I scraped up, these ledges. So I got myself a grinder. Diamond bit. I'm going to show you this at the end of the video, and I do this. feathers it all together so you don't have big ledges and it's, it's the same if you got something bulging out like this you get the grinder now it's all even so let's see what's going on behind these steps these steps were made out of see it and it falls apart. You can just break it in your hand. It was made out of Pennsylvania bluestone and they're not conducive to steps in northeast of Pennsylvania. But maybe at the time they wanted to save money. So the only thing we could do is either put all brand new granite in or patch it up. So we're just going to keep patching it. So what you use whatever you want to use. You could use a sponge if you want. You got to wet it first. And then Get my little bit of rapid set there. Get it in there like that. I'll make a big deal out of it. Just make sure it's in there. Real good. I want it to stick. You see it's sticking in there? When it's wet, it'll stick. Let that go for a couple of minutes. We'll go do some other other little spots. And we'll come back to this. Then after a little time goes by, you put your sponge in there. And you just kind of smooth it down where it's gonna fit right. See that? Get this stuff with your fingers, throw it in them little cracks. You think that helps? See that? Over here, just get your sponge, make it a little damp, get some of the stuff, and just put it in with your finger. See that? That's all you're doing. You're just patching it up. That's all this is, is a patch job. Just like that. Get your sponge, go over the top of it, 
just like that. Now well, I got it all chipped off and ground it down. It's all flat now because I used a grinder. Now I'm gonna I might have some ledges here and there, but the paint should fill that in. So now I'm just gonna open up the paint and start painting. Just stir it up. Start painting. This is a sand paint. It has like a sand finish in it. Non-skid sometimes they call it. But it don't matter what I do. Next year or the year after, I'll be back doing it again. It ain't no big deal. Now you're going to ask me, Mike, what are you doing now? Well, because it's church steps and there's a lot of older people, they painted this front of the steps like this so when the people were walking they could distinguish it a little better so that's why I'm doing this with black paint I keep using a ruler because steps go in and out at a level and it gives me something to go by I just painted a set of steps here I uh, ground them down and I chipped them and I painted them they're concrete steps I'm just going to show you how I did it so when you get a set of steps like this, you gotta get the brick hammer out first. Get up anything loose with that. That's the first step. If it's loose, it'll come up. Then get your trowel or your, or your scraper. top step here and I ground it off. I used my little grinder and that wheel. That's what I'm using. I show you where I buy that. But now I'm gonna do the bottom right here. I chipped it all with the hammer. The big stuff. We still have this uh, these edges so how am I gonna get them down? I'm just gonna use the grinder and go get it. does is it takes it down to the old stone or the old concrete but it's up to you if you want to go far I'm not a big uh, believer in going too far just get it down and that's it so I'm just painting it that's all and they say we well, should use a roller I use a brush you know why a brush really gets it in there that's what I want I don't want no roller like a brush Really get it in, push it in there, move it around a little bit. It sticks a little better in my opinion. We're going to talk about that job a little bit. That job was a redo. The first job was a redo. And what happened is if you go back to Concrete Steps Repair Part 4, you'll see what those steps were, what they looked like three or four years ago whenever I did them. I had to rip the carpet off, I had to chisel everything off, I had to redo them, cement them. Now the church down the street, it was maybe 20 years ago, 15 years ago, they paid 150000 for gra uh, granite steps to go in to replace them. Ten years ago, they, the borough bought the building, they ripped the church down and those steps are sitting up behind the borough building. This church didn't want to buy new steps, they just want to keep it going you know fix it up what did the paint cost 120 bucks I'm there six hours what do I get $150 see you never see me talk about money 
but for $250 a year, $300 tops, you keep fixing your steps. It's a lot better than $200,000. Uh, if you're going to do a job like that, and they want to know what you're going to do, you just go in and you say, uh, well, let me do a little sample on the site. You know, you take one little piece off on the very top or something where no one's going to see it, and you show them what the sample looks like, and then they have the board look at it, and then they know whether they want it or they don't want it. But, you know, a patch job is a patch job, and it's always going to be a patch job, and you got to look at it that way. When I use that paint, it's a non-skid paint. It's got like sand in it, so it's kind of, it's not slippery. And when you're on church steps, you don't want it slippery. Now when the winter comes, they're hitting it with ice picks and snow shovels, and they're throwing uh, salt all over it, and it gets destroyed. So they only, it only, it's only going to last a couple years no matter what you do there. And this little tool is nifty. Right there, it's a little grinder. And even if you want to like redo an old step or something, it just kind of fits right on there. If I have an affiliate site, you can look it up. It spins right on there, and it's dandy. You can grind everything off. You can get them at uh, almost any hardware store, any uh, reputable hardware store. They work dandy. So that's most of it. You know, I could work hours on them steps and try to make them perfect, but no matter what I do, it's like, it's like painting over a rust or body work in an old car. It's only going to be a year or so it comes back again. So you just kind of keep it like that. I hope you enjoy these videos and you get something out of them. They're all, they're all for food for thought. So thanks for watching. I'm Mike Haddock. Until next time.